the topic is external ionic fields mm -hmm. so what is external ionic fields so an external ionic is a custom field it contains a unique record identified from an external system so in external ionic field we can create only 25 external ionic fields on per object so in this external ionic can contain specific only four types one is text and email and number and auto number so just here we can take the one example how we can create that external ionic field just i can take uh, suppose I can take the account object. In this, I can create an so take new field. Seeker, so, we are not able to see what we are still still seeing your presentation only PPT only. Just one minute, sir. We'll pass stop here. Now you can see, sir. Yes, sir. Now we can see. Yeah. Okay. So, external yes, default types is four types: and text, auto number, email, and number. So, here one take text, uh, take that email example. So, just take the email. Just I'm creating on text field, new field. So here we can we can select this. Now we can uh, click this ID. So it is uh, created as external system. Just like add on. No need to create a field, uh, just you can explain like, uh, what is the external light, that's it, that is enough. Uh, yeah, just we can click, click this uh, field, so automatically created the external light field. Okay. So uh, just remember this thing, this external light checkbox, unique checkbox is available only in the four data types. What are those four data types? Text, auto number, email and number. Correct, only these four data types. You can use the uh, like a external ID fields. So the purpose of external ID fields in the Salesforce is okay. So if you make it external ID field and unique queue, so external system uh, by if you are doing any integration between Salesforce to external system, so external system will uh, use this is the like identification, like you want uh, like some identification, like auto number, like a, for example, if you say SAP number, right? You can create auto number field, number field. So by using that field, they can update the data, they can delete the data in a Salesforce. Because external system don't know about this post record ID, right? And that is the one use case. And one more thing, in the data using data load also, we can update data the Salesforce using a record ID or external ID. Okay, these are the use cases. Will we go for the? Yeah, you can go uh, check uh, that uh, PPT. You can explain what is the other differences. Yeah, that, and one more thing is, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, so if we create external ID field, it will be indexed or defined by Salesforce. Mm -hmm. In this up, uh, up creation, we still we are not this, but in external up creation of operations, if external IDs are matched one time, it will be record, updated record automatically. So if uh, external IDs are not matched, it will create new record. So external IDs are matched more than once, it will throw a, an error. If one case, if you suppose you match it only one time, it will be rec update record. So um, uh, more than uh, once, it will throw an error. Yeah, so to avoid that error, so always we have to make it external ID should be in a queue. Yeah, if you yes. put in a queue, what will happen? You cannot enter yes. duplicate external IDs, right? Yes. So that's the reason uh, this one is good. Yes. Thank you, sir. That's enough for Open PPT or PPT and show me what you have there in the third screen. Yeah, third screen. So Priya, how many external ID fields we can create in a per object? 25. Good. Which fields we can use? Which data types we can use as an ID fields? Text, email, auto number, number. Correct. What is the purpose? Why we need to use this field, external ID field? Uh, because the other external system will not be able to identify the record ID. Exactly. So to in the integrations, based on this external ID and unique, you can update the data in a Salesforce, upset or anything. If that ID, external ID exists, you can update the data. If the ID is not exist, you can create a new record. Okay. So we'll not be able to use formula field as an external ID, is it? No, no, no. That only is, four data only types, right? That is read-only field, right? Formula is a. Okay. Sir, here on question. In auto number, we can use it like read-only, right? That is read-only, but that is that is that you can make it external ID field also. Yeah. 
because that is also anyway by default that is unique queue right yeah, auto number will generate automatically in the background shekhar uh, that's it yeah that is thank you good shekhar good presentation actually yeah thanks so shekhar yeah, thank sure, you sure thanks who helps next manasa difference between salesforce swift and retired and net retired Yes, sir. I'm. I'm sharing my screen. Sure. sure. 